10 TV's Shayla Reeves joining us live from Cleveland Avenue and Abington Road with this story you'll see only on 10 TV. Shayla, what happened? Well, Angela, we're about a mile away from there at Cleveland and Abington, but here's exactly what we can tell you right now. We've been working to sort all of this out and police are telling us right now uh, that they have crime scene technicians on the way here near 161 and Cleveland Avenue right here to this parking lot where I'm standing, where they tell us that a man was actually attacked robbed and beaten right over here. Now you're looking at some of the evidence here that's left behind. We're waiting on technicians to come here and take a look at all of this. Uh, here's how it started though. Uh, police say that the victim is actually a regular over at Dino's Pub right across Cleveland Avenue where we're told that victim was on his way home walking across a dark church parking lot on the other side of Cleveland Avenue when those suspects uh, four of them were told actually attacked and robbed him this morning. Now the victim was able to run back across Cleveland Avenue to Dino's pub and police say that's when a bartender there was notified by the victim that he had been uh, attacked robbed, beaten, and uh, pistol whipped, in fact. So that bartender went ahead, called police this morning, and that is where we are. So police are here waiting to process this scene just down the road from us at Cleveland and Abington. We know police did detain three people this morning uh, to see if they had any involvement in this particular crime. So far, no one has been charged. They're only being questioned right now. Uh, but the thing that police are still working to figure out is if this man was the only victim. Police are investigating whether or not these suspects were lying in wait here inside this dark parking lot just waiting for a victim and they're trying to find out if there is a possible second victim in this too. Reporting live here at 161 and Cleveland Avenue, Shayla Reeves, 10 TV News.